Today, I'm going to compare the original Apple AirTag holder to an aftermarket holder. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I've got a couple of AirTag holders, so if you have picked up yourself a set of AirTags to find your lost things, well, you're probably wondering, hey, should I get the original OEM Apple AirTag keyring here, or should I get an aftermarket one? As you can see, the packaging is pretty similar. What we get here is a little clear peek through window on the aftermarket one versus the Apple OEM one, which is just a graphic representation. So let's open them up and take a look at them. So here is the original one and it comes in a very nice packaging. You can see we have a little tag right here where I can just pull it and it should be pretty easy to open up. And if I pull this out, ooh, there's the keychain holder for the air tag right there. And just pull that out like that. Oh, there's a little tape protecting, oh, the little plastic button, the metal button. All right, so what we get here is the little leather ring. You can see where the AirTag slips in there. It's kind of molded to be that shape. And then we have a little push button clasp here. So once that goes in, it seems pretty sturdy. It's a little brushed metal. And you can see the leather looks a lot like it does on the iPhone case. You can see how it's stitched down here and then it's held up here at the top. It's actually pretty light and it's pretty slim. The leather here is only maybe a millimeter thick. So even here where you're doubled up, that's only maybe two millimeters thick. And then you have a flat key ring up here. Again, even the key ring has Apple advertising on it, assembled in China and designed by Apple. I mean, despite the fact that this key ring is the same as pretty much any other key ring. So that's what it looks like from Apple. And if you want to pick this up, I think it's like 30 bucks. So it's pretty expensive for air tag holder. All right, so there's the official Apple one. Now this is an aftermarket one. I actually ordered this before I got the original Apple one because I wanted to compare them. And you can see it just pulls out just like that. It doesn't have that little plastic thing in there. But I tell you what, if you were just to hand this to me without comparing the two, I would not be able to tell the difference. So it has the stitching on the bottom here. The color looks almost exactly the same. It's got that little tab, again, very thin leather. So if I pull that, yep, it comes out. It's kind of funny because it actually looks like there's a little threading in there. So I think it's just to hold that in. But again, that seems to be molded for the Apple AirTag. Snaps, seems secure. We have a flat key ring. All right, so if I bring them up side by side, look at that, man, they are pretty darn similar. In fact, the only thing that I can tell really off the bat is that the Apple one has laser etching on the key ring and the key ring on the Apple one seems to be just a hair wider. It's a flat key ring, but it seems to be maybe just a millimeter wider. It maybe has a little bit better polishing. You know, this is shiny too, but that's really quite shiny there. But the leather here is actually a little bit more of a muted matte brown and this is more of a little bit of a brighter richer kind of shinier brown just a little bit and i'll tell you what i actually probably like this color a little bit more this i don't know it looks a little more natural but it's just a little earthier and this kind of has a little bit of a richer tone so there's just a little bit of a color difference but even the snap very very similar so i tell you what if you want an AirTag key ring that no one at a glance is going to be able to tell the difference from the original Apple OEM one, then <laughs> this one is it. It's pretty good and it will save you a ton of money. I will put a links to both of these in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.